This is Henry here. This is a shout out to uh, uh, you know, Bill. I guess uh, Billy in the Hills or something. I'll put it down. But uh, I think his name's Bill. This used to be a very productive garden, but I, I refused to use pesticides. And uh, I only used some of these weed control products um, that weren't supposed to be ground back. And uh, what ended up happening was uh, I had infestations of caterpillars eating broccoli that I would grow in large numbers here. Other times of the year, I might grow corn in these lower beds. Uh, the trails weren't really there, and it was really rich soil. And then I got corn borers, I guess, and all kinds of strange stuff. And those really ugly looking potato bugs that crawl out of the ground. And these bricks were not bricks. They were uh, not treated, but they were fur. They were supposed to last. Earwigs and, and, and unbelievable stuff. So I used diatomaceous earth for certain purposes. I like diatomaceous earth, but it, it killed all the worms. And the reason that I'm making this part of this video as a shout out to Bill is that I believe in all that stuff about worms and even more. And I made a mistake here. And, and thankfully, I only made it on this property in this one area, but I did use diatomaceous earth. And I had tried stuff like growing marigolds and other things and uh, powdering them up. And I even made some tobacco juice stuff. And that was really a mistake because of the mosaic virus. Um, in the end, one of the deciding factors to go with um, in-ground perennials like asparagus and uh, trees was that in order to get rid of the diatomaceous earth I used, which is killing the worms on the surface of the ground, I, I would have to take the beds down at least two to three inches through solid soil and then have it hauled away because there isn't any other place on the property I'd want to put it. made a mistake once, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Anyway, um, that's kind of, uh, that was my answer, and I'm sorry it took a little time to put that answer together, but I was doing some other stuff. I'd love to have a rich culture of worms again in the ground here, but sort of the incidental use of some of those indigestible sugar type weed Abatement stuff and the diatomaceous earth was sort of a killer for a lot of um, the stuff that lived here on the ground. Worms come out, they crawl around on the ground at night when it's humid and they eat all kinds of detritus. And if they eat um, diatomaceous earth, it's as effective against them as it is against caterpillars and broccoli. So uh, I'm just glad that I made that mistake in this small area and uh, that I didn't lose the earth and what I'm going to do now is just try to uh, stabilize what's here. I mean diatomaceous earth is found all over the planet but natural processes can control it after a while to wash it away and do whatever it does. In this case, um, I never got enough vegetables production out of here without using stuff to warrant doing it. And then after I did these things that I thought were very natural and they would uh, be friends of the earth, they turned out not to be. And then to try to fix this problem would probably even be more irresponsible. So uh, it is what it is. And 
I do know what you were saying, Bill, and I just wanted to address the fact that I think after what happened here with the cabbage and the fact that uh, the stuff still came out of the woodwork and ate up all the cores, um, this is going to be a little orchard. I'm just going to let this stuff rest in peace, and I'm going to try and uh, find a fix for these palm seeds that keep sprouting. But I really am glad I didn't do this to the rest of my property. So thanks.